Live from Lexington, our home, your news. This is Fox 56 News at 10. Good evening, I'm Danielle Miskell. First on Fox tonight, today marks one year since a deadly tornado passed through Bowling Green. The rebuilding process in the city continues, but as Kenley Hargett reports, the rebuild isn't just physical. Tornado survivors are also picking up the pieces mentally. David, thank you. Back here in Lexington, the city hits its 43rd homicide of the year after a 19-year-old woman is shot and killed. According to Lexington Police, officers responded to the 3400 block of Colonnade Drive for a shots fired call just after 5.30 this morning. When they got there, they found Elena Mammon dead inside of a car. And this is the city's 43rd homicide. This time last year, there were 35 homicides. Out of the deaths this year, only about half of them have been solved. If you have any information on any of these crimes, you are asked to call police or Crime Stoppers. Your information could lead to a reward of $1,500. A woman is recovering in the hospital tonight, and a Lexington man is dead after a shooting earlier this week. Fox 56's Emma Rogers has more. Imagine walking 50 miles. Divine Karama is showing his support for kids in the bluegrass by doing just that, putting one foot in front of the other. This weekend, he's walking 50 hours to raise $50,000 to buy coats for kids in need. And after everything Kentucky kids have been through this year, he says it's the least he can do. Definitely tired, but um, it's the least I could do uh, for these kids that have struggled through a pandemic, um, through inflation, tornadoes have hit Kentucky, flood. If you want to help Divine get off the sidewalks of Lexington and keep a child warm this winter, just head to this story inside Fox 56 News app to give a monetary donation. And our Dan Stevens was out and about this week, checking in on some of the holiday light displays around town. But she also stopped by Firehouse 20 in Lexington, where they're carrying on a tradition of going above and beyond. It looks like Christmas lights for all the people out here, but it is computer programs. It's uh, there is an FM transmitter that they can listen to music. It's a lot of programming. They're like Mark Griswold up there checking <laughs> mil millions of bulbs. And to show your appreciation for all of their hard work, the department is asking folks to donate their annual toy drive. They're collecting unwrapped gifts for children ages 12 and younger at all Lexington fire stations through next Saturday, the 17th. And the Reindeer Express was back at the nest as the organization looks to serve its clients this holiday season. The event was held at Wild Health Field where clients went through rooms full of toys, books and clothes. The Christmas gifts come from donations through an Amazon and Walmart coat wish list. The staff expects to serve more than 700 children and 400 families. Oh my gosh, we feel so blessed and uh, we were a little concerned because coming out of COVID, we didn't think we would get as much support, but everybody has stepped up and really helped us. And we're very, very grateful for all the donations, financial gifts, and of course, all our volunteers. This was the first year back fully in person. For the past two years, it was a drive through experience. At Owingsville Elementary, they have introduced the OES book vending machine. Every week, students that are recognized with character awards will be given a character coin to buy any book out of this machine. They can also receive special awards as well. And dozens of murder cases remain unsolved and Lexington police are turning to Crime Stoppers for help. Coming up in this week's Crime Stoppers report, how you can help police solve one of Lexington's most recent homicides. The first 10 minutes of Fox 56 News at 10 were brought to you commercial free. Sponsored by UK Federal Credit Union. 